Superman is the most powerful, but also the most vulnerable superhero you can imagine. He's an incredibly conflicted, lonely, and lost person. It's a timeless story. Superman is a story for everybody. It's gonna be intense, visceral, really exciting to watch. We need champions and we need someone to believe in. It's about the potential for every person to be a force for good. We have to believe that somebody can make things right. From the first time I could ever remember, Superman was one of the people I wanted to be. Chris Nolan was working with David Goyer on the story for The Dark Knight Rises. David started talking to him about this idea that he had about reimagining Superman. Our approach was not a comic book Superman. It was just to do a more realistic Superman, a Superman that exists in a real world. One more, just like that, right. I remember I said to Zach, I don't know how you do this. I don't know how you take this character and modernize him and make him cool to a modern audience. And they pitched their ideas and we were like, wow, they figured it out. What Chris and David did was let's let the audience participate in the experience of being Superman without breaking the things that make him Superman. They were able to sort of make him relatable, ground him and make him feel real. Not bad. The holy grail of the rehearsal is still out there. <laughs> oh. Working with Zach is great. His energy is always up. As much as the hours are extremely long, Zach keeps stuff interesting. Zach is very detail-oriented. He never misses anything. He just has a really strong idea of the story, and he has a really strong idea of character. Zach knows exactly what he's looking for, and he knows when he has it, and that gives you a certain amount of confidence. He'll turn, and then you just press, press on. One really interesting thing with Zach, he's probably chosen the hardest possible way by making it, for the most part, a single camera. You don't work on movies of this scale with a single camera. Even though we're walking around and making shots, the frame is always being analyzed and refined as we go. Boom, come on. He wanted to give the film this feeling that even though we're dealing with a superhero, this could be going on, or maybe it could happen tomorrow. We tried to land Superman in America. It was really important to ground him in a reality that we can understand. This story is a very realistic mirror. It's a 2012, 2013 world. We wanted to have real places. We didn't want Superman to crash into a fictitious location. We wanted everything to feel as real as possible. There are ways into the story through that contemporary world. There's a real connection for the audience to understand this is our contemporary condition. The most minute little detail all the way to the biggest, broadest concept, all of it gets the same attention. It really makes the movie deeper and more interesting on every level. We're gonna make Superman. First thing you gotta figure out is, what's the suit gonna look like? The cape has to be there. If you look at the suit without the cape, you realize it's not Superman. But you know what? I think the underwear outside the pants is something that maybe can go. The reason why his underwear is on the outside of his pants, it's a leftover from Victorian era strongman. I probably looked at hundreds of versions with underwear. It fell by the boards because I couldn't make it consistent with the world that we were creating. It was really important for Zach for the suit to make sense. So it's not like, hmm, where did the suit come from? Did he hand make it? Did his mom make it? We had to create a world where that kind of outfit was commonplace and make that feel natural. It's kind of like chain mail to the knights of medieval times. When we go to Krypton, you can see the council members, the soldiers, they all have the same skin suit. Sometimes you'd see it with a cape or sometimes armor would go on top of it. It's a really high-tech kind of fabric, which I think is a nice departure from the spandex. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. In my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. The Superman S is said to be the second most recognizable symbol on the planet other than the Christian cross. The fact that the S in a shield exists on the chest of a 
superhero from another planet is a huge design problem. So if the S glyph is related to Superman and the House of L. We see it on jor and we see it on Lara as well. When you look at the castle costumes, they all have their glyphs, their shield. We looked a lot at medieval heraldry and symbols of dynasties and guilds and things, so we created our own version of that. You have to go and find the why of it. You know, it's like an illuminated text. There's a reason why those monks have been redrawing that same thing for a thousand years. It's got a very alien feel to it, while being recognizable as a suit that we know and love. It's that fine line of reinventing him, but still seeing him in there. Clark is ultimately an outsider at all stages of his life. You see him have all these odd jobs. He's on a quest to find out who he is, where he came from. One of the unique things is that he's an alien. I have so many questions. Where do I come from? What world do I belong to? Is it this one or is it another? Do I have another father on another planet? Who am I? He's kind of lost in the world and doesn't really have a place. Starting the movie from that point of view allows the audience in because they share those same questions and insecurities about their places in the world. One of the things that's really important to Jor-El to try to communicate to his son is that these strengths that he has, it's a huge responsibility. His teachings are all about leading from the front, being a shining hope and example, and not hiding what it is that you are. He'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. How? Oh. He'll be a god to them. Instinctually, when something bad happens, he is able to react. And when he reacts, he reacts like something nobody's ever seen before. Jonathan teaches a slightly more careful approach. He's more protective of what Clark is. Things happen as he grows up where people know that he's different and they're hiding this secret. You're going to require as much strength morally when you have that much strength physically. Clark, you have to keep this side of yourself a secret. What was I supposed to do? Just let him die? Maybe. We have this character that has all these incredible powers. Everybody wants to fly. Who doesn't want to fly? Everybody has the same dream of the defiance of gravity and all that that symbolizes. Obviously, we see Superman fly because he can control his power and his speed. I wonder what it would be like to be able to just take to the sky, to feel the wind through my hair would be the most incredible thing. The super speed aspect of the fight makes him completely superhuman and beyond the scope of what is actually possible. We're gonna see action in this film like we've never seen it before. Much more physical, much more high powered. There was definitely a real conscious effort to support the idea that this is happening between Kryptonians. One of the talents that they would exploit would be that sense of speed to be able to vanquish their enemy very, very quickly. Superman is from another planet. He calls into question so much of what we take for granted, whether it be philosophical or physics, he has come to Earth to remind us of ourselves. Miss Lane, you're not a fan of the Daily Planet, but those pieces you wrote when you were embedded with the first vision were pretty impressive. Well, what can I say? I get writer's block if I'm not wearing a flak jacket. Lois has always been a strong female character. The difference is that our Lois is more proactive. She's doing all the things that she needs to do to understand this character that could save her world. How do you find someone who has spent a lifetime covering his tracks? He hasn't quite factored in the idea of being the savior of the world until Zod turns up. My name is General Zod. For some time, your world has sheltered one of my citizens. General Zod is the military leader of Krypton. He's a fiercely devoted warrior. I have a duty to my people, and I will not allow anyone to prevent me from carrying it out. You are presented with a character that, from his point of view, is striving to do the right thing. To Kal-El, I say this. Surrender within 24 hours, or watch this world suffer. My hopes and dreams travel with you.
the idea of these two people on a dying world having to make this sacrifice where they would say, you know, we're never gonna see our child grow up, but we've gotta put this message in a bottle. Clark gets his DNA from another galaxy, but he gets his character from Jonathan and Martha. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Can I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. Kevin plays the part with such tenderness and empathy and understanding. What do you do when you have an offspring that's this powerful to uh, instill a sense of right and wrong? Well, look at you! Superman gets a lot of his strength from Jonathan and Martha, and the strength which Kevin and Diane brought to those roles flows off them in their performance. Dusty! Mrs. Kent, I'm Lois Lane from the Daily Planet, and I'd like to talk to you about your son. The protectiveness that she had as a mother myself, that's something that I love to instill in my daughter. I can't print this, Lois. You might have hallucinated half of it. Perry, come on, it's me we're talking about. Perry White used to be an investigative reporter, and there's still some of that in him, but he has the responsibility of keeping people within the boundaries of good taste, let's say. Lawrence just made it so easy to fall into that sort of contentious relationship with me. I told you not to run with this. There's a humanity that goes through every character in this piece. Whether it's Pa Kent, jor -El. Lois, Perry White, or Zod for that matter. The actors are amazing, the director's amazing. I feel very, very lucky to be a part of this. It's reinventing Superman. What'll really be modern about what we're doing is Zach's vision of it. This imagining has such a sense of humanity. It's a spectacular adventure. People are gonna feel part of the movie. The scope and scale of the movie is epic. Every scene, every moment, you haven't seen that.